Phrasal Verbs Compilation. Let's begin with get over. Get over is often used when someone is recovering from a sickness or emotional upset. For example, after a breakup, you might say, it takes time, but you'll get over it eventually. Look, I know that your mother hurt you, but you need to get over it. You'd like to see him again? It's not that. I could see him for a walk in the park. No, I suppose I want to get over it. Maybe it's time to get over that. Get over it, Dad. You need to get over it and sing. It took me two weeks to get over the flu. Sheldon, you don't get over the flu in half an hour. I'm just getting over a cold. Get along. Get along most often refers to having a friendly relationship with someone. Do you get along with your coworkers? Hey, I was raised as a boy. I don't get along with women. She doesn't get along with Sheldon. I'm very easy to get along with. I'm not easy to get along with. Get ahead. It means to be successful in the work that you do. It's about moving forward faster and doing better than the rest. For instance, she studies every day to get ahead in class. The only way to get ahead is to work hard. You want to get ahead in Hollywood? I want to get ahead in comedy? I don't want you to think this is the way you get ahead in life. Do not take advantage of someone else's mistakes. Get through. It means to finish or to manage to deal with a difficult situation. It was tough to get through all the training, but it was worth it in the end. We'll get through this. We always do. Hey, we're gonna get through this, okay? We'll get through it together. Get through also means succeeding in talking to someone on the phone. I tried to call her, but couldn't get through. I'm trying to get through to Teddy, but he's not picking up. Get by. It means to be able to live or deal with a situation with difficulty. How can you get by on so little money? I get by on little money. You don't need your dad money. You can get by on your salary. I wanted to know how you're doing. Um, getting by. Get away. Get away means to escape from a place or a situation. You've been working too hard. You should get away for a while. I need to get away. I need to clear my head. Maybe we should get away this weekend. I just need to get away. Now let's explore get away with. This means to do something wrong without suffering any consequences or punishment. Imagine a man steals a cookie and doesn't get caught. You might say he got away with stealing a cookie. My brother gets away with murder. He's literally going to get away with murder. It's out of our hands. <laughs> of your treachery right here. you never get away with this. Never get away with it. As long as I have a voice. You'll never get away with this. Get on. It means to enter a large type of transport, like a bus, train, or plane. If you can walk onto the vehicle and stand up on your feet, we use on. Get on a train. Get on a subway. Get on a plane. Get on a ship. Get on a bus. Get on the bus. Get on the ship. Just saw Danny getting on the subway with a girl. And then we got onto the plane. Get in. If you can't walk, we use in. Get in a car. Get in a taxi. Get in a truck. Get in the car. We're late. I'm taking you in. Get in the car. No. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in my taxi. Get out. Get out is used to express leaving a place. We need to get out of the building before the meeting starts. Get out of the building now. Get back in the car, both of you. What? I just got out of the car. Do you know how hard it is for me to get in and out of cars? Harrow, do what the man said. All right. It's also used as a strong command for someone to leave immediately. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get around. It means to travel or move from place to place. For example, I get around the city by bus. Come on, crew, let's hit the rails and buses. 
Both great ways to get around the city. Sometimes, get around means that information is spreading. Once a rumor starts to get around, it's hard to stop it. Hi, I'm Rachel Chu. Oh, you're Nick Young's friend. Yeah. Word gets around fast here. You're a professor at NYU, right? Word gets around fast. Word gets around. Word's getting around. Get back. Get back to generally means to start doing something again after stopping. Let's take a 10 minute break and then we can get back to our meeting. Yeah, I'll get back to you. I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. Get back can mean to return to a place. For example, when will you get back? I will get back home at 6 p.m. When you get back home, Michael Lawler will give you access to a bank account. I should get back home. Okay. I need to get back to work. The lunch rush is coming in soon. I need to get back to work. Get up. The most common meaning is to wake up and get out of bed. For example, I got up at 5 o'clock this morning. Linus, time to get up. I want to be late for school. Maybe we could get up early. We could watch the sunrise. Time to get up. But get up can be used in other ways, too. For instance, when you see someone fall, you might say, get up. The game's not over yet. Don't get up. Hey. So don't get up. Don't get up. Get at. If someone says something confusing, you might ask, what are you getting at? This means you're asking, what do you mean? Or what are you trying to say? I'm not sure what you're getting at. I'm just not sure um, what, what you're getting at. Yeah, and what are you getting at? What are you getting at? What are you getting at? Yeah, Phil, what are you getting at? Quiz and speaking practice. How can you get on so little money? I get on little money. How can you get by on so little money? I get by on little money. Let's practice. How can you get by on so little money? I get by on little money. It's nice to see the kids getting without fighting. It's nice to see the kids getting along without fighting. It's nice to see the kids getting along without fighting. You will get the flu more quickly if you relax. You will get over the flu more quickly if you relax. You will get over the flu more quickly if you relax. We're planning to get a to the beach this weekend. We're planning to get away to the beach this weekend. We're planning to get away to the beach this weekend. Get in the car. We're late. Get in the car. We're late. Get in the car. We're late. Just take it one step at a time. You'll get Just take it one step at a time. You'll get through it. Just take it one step at a time. You'll get through it. The only way to get ahead is to work hard. The only way to get ahead is to work hard. The only way to get ahead is to work hard. The only way to get ahead is to work hard. I'm trying to get through to Teddy, but he's not picking up. I'm trying to get through to Teddy, but he's not picking up. I'm trying to get through to Teddy, but he's not picking up. I'm trying to get through to Teddy, but he's not picking up. Okay. I need to get back to work. The lunch rush is coming in soon. Okay. I need to get back to work. The lunch rush is coming in soon. Okay. I need to get back to work. The lunch rush is coming in soon. I need to get back to work. Where it gets around fast. Where it gets around fast. Word gets around fast. Word gets around fast. Look, I know that your mother hurt you, but you need to get over it. Look, I know that your mother hurt you, but you need to get over it. Look, I know that your mother hurt you, but you need to get over it. You need to get over it. 
Phrasal verbs with take. Let's start with our first phrasal verb, take off. This means to remove something, like clothing or glasses. For example, it's warm inside, so I'll take off my coat. I'll take my shoes off. No, just don't take your shoes off. Just take it off, take it off. The second meaning of take off means something becomes very popular or successful very quickly. For instance, this new song by my favorite band is taking off. Everyone loves it. The cheese shop is really taking off. His massage business is really taking off. Take off can also refer to the action of an airplane leaving the ground and beginning its flight. For example, the plane will take off in 10 minutes, so please make sure you're on board. Grandma, our plane takes off in 41 minutes. I have to get to the airport and stop Fritz Fritz before the plane takes off. Take over. This means to get control of something or to do something instead of someone else. Take over. Higher! Take over. This is yours. Higher! Take over. For instance, after the boss retired, Sarah took over as the new manager. He took over from the previous headmaster in July. Take in. It means to understand or absorb information. For example, wow, there are so many new rules at my new job. That's a lot to take in. The brain takes in information, like a new language or a math equation, much more quickly. I'm taking in information. I'm processing. I know it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. Take back. Take means to grab something. Back means to return something to where it came from. So, take back can mean to return something to where it came from. For example, I need to take back this book to the library. Take back can also mean to return something you have bought to a shop. Is it too small? Take it back and get a refund. I got them for Nicolaj's birthday, but it turns out he's allergic and the pet store won't take them back. I'll take it back to the department store in the morning. The store said that they won't take it back because you've signed for it. Another way we use take back is to express regret something we said. For instance, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I take back what I said before. In this case, take back means apologizing for what was said. I take back what I said. Actually, I take it back what I said earlier. They're... Take on. This means to accept a particular job or responsibility. For instance, I'm ready to take on the new project at work. I can do more, sir. I'd like to take on additional responsibilities. Good. Mrs. Shaw, Miss Garcia, you will take on the task together. So, you're going to take on a little teaching job. I suggested that I take on this task force. Take apart. Take apart means to disassemble or separate something into its individual pieces. For example, I need to take apart this computer to fix it. To take everything apart. Figure out what's important. What are you doing? Taking this old clock apart. Is it broken? Moving on to take up. This means to start a hobby or activity. You might say, I want to take up painting in my free time. Angela used to be a model and has decided to take it up again. You could use that time to take up a hobby. You can't take up golf. We need that money to send Steve to private school. Please take up tennis. Have a leisurely lunch with a friend. The next phrasal verb is take after. When you say someone takes after someone else, it means they resemble or have similar qualities to that person. For example, she really takes after her mother. You bobbleheads really take after your mom. Actually, Gene, you take more after your father. No, you take after your father. Mm -hmm. Take out. Take out means to remove something from a place. Don't forget to take out the trash before you leave. Teddy, <laughs> you want your allowance? Take out the trash. Take down. Take down means to remove something from where it is. I'll just take it down. 
Another way we use takedown is to write or record information. For example, during the meeting, I'll take down all the important points in my notebook. Lastly, we can also use takedown figuratively to defeat someone or something. The hero will take down the villain in the final battle. I'll take him down. Take him down! Take him down! Quiz and speaking practice. If the skirt doesn't fit, you can take it. If the skirt doesn't fit, you can take it back. Let's practice. If the skirt doesn't fit, you can take it back. His career finally took after years of hard work. His career finally took off after years of hard work. His career finally took off after years of hard work. Don't take more responsibilities than you can handle. Don't take on more responsibilities than you can handle. Don't take on more responsibilities than you can handle. He took for his manager two weeks ago. He took over as manager two weeks ago. He took over as manager two weeks ago. It took me a while to take all the information. It took me a while to take in all the information. It took me a while to take in all the information. What new hobby do you want to take? I want to take painting in my free time. What new hobby do you want to take up? I want to take up painting in my free time. What new hobby do you want to take up? I want to take up painting in my free time. I think you take to your grandma. I think you take after your grandma. I think you take after your grandma. Phrasal verbs, part three. Call off and put off. Call off. If you call off an event that has been planned, you cancel it. For example, the game was called off because of bad weather. Repeat after me. The game was called off because of bad weather. Put off. If you put something off, you delay it. The match has been put off until tomorrow because of bad weather. The match has been put off until tomorrow because of bad weather. The outdoor event was called off due to the rain. That's a bummer. Do you think they'll put it off to another date? Take after and take over. If you take after a member of your family, you resemble them in your appearance, behavior, or character. For example, my son takes after my husband. My son takes after my husband. Take over. If you take over a job or role, you become responsible for the job after someone else has stopped doing it. Take over. Her daughter took over the job in 2017. Her daughter took over the job in 2017. Your son really takes after you. He has the same passion for music. Yes, he does. I hope he can take over the family business someday, just like I did for my parents. Turn up and turn down. Turn up. Turn up means to increase the volume. He turned up his music really loud. He turned up his music really loud. Turn down. Turn down means to decrease the volume. You should tell him to turn it down. You should tell him to turn it down. I can't hear the movie very well. Can you turn up the volume? 
Sure, is this better? If it's too loud, I can always turn it down. Come down with and get over. Come down with. It means to start to suffer from an illness, especially one that is not serious. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. Get over. It means to get better after an illness. You will get over the illness more quickly if you relax. You will get over the illness more quickly if you relax. I heard you came down with a cold. Yes, I got a cold, but I'll get over it soon. Come up and come up with. These are two completely different verbs. Come up. If something is coming up, it is about to happen or take place. My birthday is coming up. My birthday is coming up. Come up with. We often use it with words such as idea, plan, or solution. If you come up with a plan or idea, you think of it and suggest it. He came up with a great idea for the campaign. He came up with a great idea for the campaign. My exams are coming up next week. I'm so stressed out. Take a deep breath and come up with a study schedule. Look after and get along. Look after. Definition. To take care of. She looks after his son during the day. She looks after his son during the day. Get along. If two or more people get along, they like each other and are friendly. I don't get along with my sister's husband. I don't get along with my sister's husband. Can you look after my dog while I'm away this weekend? No problem at all. I'm sure we'll get along. Break up and stress out. Break up. Definition. To stop having a relationship. He just broke up with his girlfriend. He just broke up with his girlfriend. Stress out. Definition. To make someone feel very nervous and worried. Interviews always stress me out. Interviews always stress me out. I heard you just broke up with your girlfriend. Yes, it's been tough, but I'm trying not to let it stress me out too much. Get by and drop by. Drop by. If you drop by, you visit someone casually or unexpectedly. The verb drop by is used for a short visit. She dropped by her mom's house to ask for money. She dropped by her mom's house to ask for money. Get by. Definition. To manage to deal with a difficult situation using money and equipment. How does she get by on such a small salary? She gets by on her small salary through careful financial planning. How does she get by on such a small salary? She gets by on her small salary through careful financial planning. I'm swamped with work, but I'll somehow get by. Take a break sometimes. I might drop by with coffee to help you relax. Cut down and eat out. Cut down. It means to do or use less of something. I'm trying to cut down on caffeine. I'm trying to cut down on caffeine. Eat out. Eat out means to eat in a restaurant. Let's eat out tonight. I don't feel like cooking. Let's eat out tonight. I don't feel like cooking. We've been eating out a lot lately. We should cut down on eating out and cook more at home to save money. Come across and end up. Come across. If you come across something or someone, you find them or meet them by chance. I came across this picture when I was cleaning out the living room. I came across this picture when I was cleaning out the living room. End up. End up means to finally be in a particular place or situation. 
We use it when we talk about results or consequences. Whenever we go out to dinner with them, I always end up paying the bill. Notice that when we have a verb after end up, this verb has an ing. Whenever we go out to dinner with them, I always end up paying the bill. I was looking for a book in the library and came across an interesting novel. That's great! Did you end up checking it out? Cross out and rip up. Cross out. Definition. To draw a line through something you have written because it is wrong. If you think it's wrong, cross it out and write it again. If you think it's wrong, cross it out and write it again. Rip up. Definition. To tear something into small pieces. She ripped up his letters and burned the pieces. She ripped up his letters and burned the pieces. I accidentally wrote the wrong date on the invitation. I'll have to cross it out. Don't worry, it happens. Just be sure to rip up any incorrect ones and print new invitations. Wrap up and brush up on. Wrap up. It means to finish something. It's getting late. Let's wrap it up. It's getting late. Let's wrap it up. Brush up on. It means to practice and improve your skills or your knowledge of something that you learned in the past. It's been a while since I played the guitar. I should brush up on my skills. It's been a while since I played the guitar. I should brush up on my skills. We need to wrap up the meeting. Great. Before we finalize everything, let's brush up on the details to make sure they're perfect. Quiz. The outdoor event was due to the rain. The outdoor event was called off due to the rain. That's a bummer. Do you think they'll put it off to another date? Your son really you. He has the same passion for music. Your son really takes after you. He has the same passion for music. Yes, he does. I hope he can take over the family business someday, just like I did for my parents. I heard you cold. I heard you came down with a cold. Yes, I got a cold, but I'll get over it soon. Eight meanings of pickup. Pickup means to learn a new skill or language by watching or listening to other people. I picked up a few French words when I was in France. Pickup means to restart or resume. Let's stop here. We'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. Let's pick up where we left off. Pick up means to lift something. I pick up trash on weekends as a volunteer. Pick up means to buy something or get it from a shop. I picked up some cosmetics on the way home. Pick up speed means to go faster. The car picked up speed. Pick up means to increase or improve. The economy is finally beginning to pick up. Pick up means to let someone get into your car and take them somewhere. I sometimes pick up my colleagues from work. Pick up means to answer the phone. The phone rang, so I picked it up. Quiz. What's the meaning of pick up in this sentence? Let's stop here. We'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. Restart. Let's pick up the pace. Go faster. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.
subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a lesson.